up you guys it's your girl Angela welcome back to my channel and I'm looking a little rough around the edges right now but it's fine because we are about to do a chit chat get ready with me full of all of my new favorite products I was gonna do just like a favorites video just talking about them but I figured why not demo them talk to you guys multitask do everything at once because I don't know, I just wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, let's just jump right into it because I am looking very interesting. The first thing I'm going to do is my skin. I obviously just got out of the shower, but I don't like to wash my face in the shower because of my eyelash extensions. Okay, yes, disclaimer, I have nothing on my face, but my eyelash extensions I can't take off because I don't think it's going to be like, Oh, she's wearing lashes. Yes, but I can't take them off, so I'm sorry. You're just going to have to deal with my long, luxurious, fluttering lashes. So for skincare today, I'm using the Nature by Nature Soft Toe. So for skincare today, I'm using the Nature by Nature Dry Sensitive Skin System. I have them all on my counter right here. Um, it's a four step thing. Well, actually it's not. There's four products in the system. But for the daytime, I only use two products. So first I'm gonna start off with the Soft Touch Gel to Milk Cleanser which I absolutely love. Let me just roll up my bougie sleeves. So I'm just wetting my face. And then I'm just applying a few pumps. It just looks like a gel. And I'm massaging it into my skin. You'll see it get a little bit foamy. So I really love this cleanser, especially to remove makeup because it just kind of like melts the makeup away and it leaves my skin feeling really refreshed and hydrated. My skin changes throughout the year, or should I say throughout the season because in the summer I'm very oily and acne prone and during the winter I'm very dry and sensitive. So this is perfect for right now. There's a really good exfoliator in the system too. It's the Glow Remedy Powdered Foam Exfoliator and I like it because you can actually feel the exfoliation working. I hate exfoliators that don't feel like they're doing anything but this feels really nice on the skin. And then at night, instead of using the moisturizer I'm about to use, I'll use the Invisible Hydration Mask. But right now, I'm just going to use the Zero Gravity Whipped Day Cream, and I really like this under my makeup. Just using a few pumps. I'm really working this into the skin. So that's it for skin prep today. Really, really easy. I use the soft touch gel to milk cleanser and then the day cream at night I use the exfoliator and the night mask. I notice a huge difference in my skin. My breakouts are happening less often and my skin feels really hydrated even though it's winter and the air is so dry. So if you want to try this system I did reach out to the company for you guys and you can get a system of your choice for free. They do have a system for oily skin which I'm definitely going to try out in the summer but if you're interested you can try it for free. All you have to do is pay shipping and handling with my code Angela and you'll be good to go. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Let's move on to our face, shall we? Okay, so 2018 hasn't been a big makeup year for me. I've been doing a lot of traveling and filming. So my kit when I'm away is very small and I use products that um, are tried and true. But I started noticing I didn't like the way my makeup looked. So I decided to switch everything out and start over. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my skin with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. I got these in a little holiday kit at Ulta. Um, for like $11. It actually came with a primer moisturizer as well. I don't use a primer to make my makeup last longer. I really never had a problem with my makeup lasting. I've only had issues with my pores and the dry patches on my skin. So this kind of just smooths and blurs everything out. I'm just gonna put on this headband. I got this headband from Ulta. So I put 
on my makeup. And everything I'm using is gonna be linked down below. I feel like it's easier. I know I'm gonna forget to do my brush somewhere, or maybe I'll forget all of them, but it's fine. We'll, we'll make it through, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> so the next thing I'm gonna do is my foundation. I personally like to mix my foundations. Right now I'm using the Fit Me Matte Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation in 220 Natural Beige and the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 6.5. And because it's winter and I still want a little bit of glow, my skin has been really dry, I'm going to put in two drops of the Iconic Blended Illuminator. But yeah, I really like to mix my foundation. I don't know why, I feel like it makes a huge difference. Maybe it's just my imagination, but hey, if it works in my mind, it's totally fine by me. Oh, I'm going to apply it with a Real Techniques sponge, which I like better than the Beauty Blender. And if you hear beasts growling in the background, it's not my stomach this time, it's my dog. So last night I was watching the American Meme on Netflix, and Paris Hilton was talking about how much she loves her fans, and how she feels like she's watch them grow up and how much she loves them and that was like honestly true like i hate the word fans i absolutely hate it it makes me cringe but the people that have supported me since oxygen i see you guys commenting all the time don't ever think that your love goes unnoticed because it definitely does not I'm so obsessed with you guys and she was talking about how like she honestly like feels closer to them than some of the people in her life for real and I was like honestly true <laughs> I love you guys so much so shout out to the Angela army okay now that our foundation is on we're gonna go into our concealer and contour is anyone else like me and hates doing their eyebrows before their face is on <laughs> I don't know I can't I can't do my brows before my face I've tried so many times and I just I can't do it I can't. I'm so, I'm so weird. So I'm going to go in with my contour. I'm using the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick in Gargantuan Golden. And I'm just going in. I'm going to contour my face. But yeah, the American Meme is really good. And I recommend you guys watch it. Um, for concealer, I'm using the Cover FX Power Play in the shade P Medium 1. I really love Tarte Shape Tape. It's still like my baby, but I've really been loving this concealer like much more. Then I'm going to blend out my contour first. And then my concealer. No. Blend out my concealer first. I don't know what I'm doing. Y'all are making me nervous. Oh, fun fact about me. Like, I love talking to you guys, and, you know, I have no problem talking in front of the camera. But if my friends were here, or my mom, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> like, even if the door was closed, I'm, like, super shy. And I feel like this is, like, our, like, you know, private time. Like, our, like, chatted up. This is, like, our time. And no one else should hear this conversation. I don't know. I'm super weird like that. I'm really, I'm actually really, really shy. Believe it or not. Yeah, back to American Meme. I'm like, I want to do something special for you guys. Because I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I know it's Christmas, it's the holidays, everyone's doing giveaways. I don't know what I want to do just yet for you guys, but it's going to be something super dope. So, stay tuned for that. Speaking of the holidays, what are you guys doing? Do you have anything special planned for New Year's? Because I do. <laughs> Last New Year's, I actually had the worst New Year's of my life. So this year, I'm going to London and I'm spending New Year's with people that I love the most. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm really, really excited. So I don't know if I told you guys this story, but if I did, I'm gonna tell you again because I just like talking shit. <laughs> but um, last New Year's, I was with my ex in Michigan visiting his family. And 20 minutes before the ball dropped, I took his phone. Actually, like he was sitting right next to me. Like, he knew my phone, his phone was in my hands. 
and that I was gonna look through it. So I don't even know why, he, I guess he just forgot he was being sneaky. I went through his phone and he didn't save numbers to I guess throw me off, but I came across a text thread between him and another girl. And like literally two days prior, he was trying to hang out with another girl, but the only reason why it didn't happen was because she ditched him. Wong, I swear the Illuminati shuts me down every time I start talking, but I cannot be stopped. Just getting my camera overheated. But we're back, and I'm gonna talk even more because I have a whole other 20 minutes to kill, okay? Oops. Fresh my man. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, the only reason why my ex didn't cheat on me or whatever is because the girl completely ditched him. He was like, oh, I guess we're not hanging out tonight then, like in the text. Like, that's really embarrassing. That should have been my first sign not to be with him, but um, I'm kind of an idiot, so. We're fine, we're over that. 2018 was a bad year for me. Actually, wasn't it? 2018 was actually a really good year for me. I just made some poor decisions, but 2019 though? 2019 though? 2019 is gonna be that year, okay? That year. So yeah, what are your plans for New Year's? Drop a comment. Where are you gonna be? If you're gonna be in London, let me know. So we can meet up maybe? Or maybe we can do New Year's together? I don't know. Oh, I'm not even talking about what I'm doing. So recently I switched out my translucent powder and I'm now using the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder and Translucent. And I really like it. The only thing I don't do anymore is bake. I just kind of apply it to my under eyes because I feel like it makes my under eyes look really dry if I bake with anything. Not only this. Let's bronze up the face a little bit. I still use Max Give Me Sun, but for a real good bronze now, I use NARS and Laguna. So I'm going to use both of them right now. First, I'm going to take a Kabuki. This is by... Vanity Planet. I don't know why it's doing that face. I think the obvious faces. And I'm taking my MAC to give me sun. I'm just going to do like an all over bronze. I'm not going to really get too precise with this. I'm just warming up my face. And then I'm going to take my, I don't know what number this is, my iconic London that came in the set. And I'm going to take my NARS Laguna Bronzer. Ooh, look at what's going on back here. You see? Take my NARS Laguna bronzer and just use that to bronze as well. Zuko, uh, mommy's busy. I'm gonna bronze up my face. Okay, next I'm going to, now I'm like really rushing because I wasted so much time talking. So now I'm going to use Max Blush in Modern Mandarin. It's the only blush I use. And then this MAC brush, I have no idea the number, I'll put it down below. It's gonna hit my cheeks with it. Let's contour my nose a little bit with some powder. I'm having a struggle morning. It's fine. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette that I've been using as a mirror this whole time. I'm taking the Medium Mocha color and I'm just going to go over my nose contour a little bit. Then I'm going to blend it out because I put too much. We're doing amazing today. So I use two different types of setting sprays. Before I put on my highlights, I spray my face with Iconic London's Prep Set and Glow. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Breezy Highlighter, which is, I mean. So, taking Iconic London. Ooh, that's just kinda like. I'm not gonna let it dry fully, but when it's a little bit tacky, I'm gonna take my Amrezy highlight and a Morphe brush and just hit my cheekbones. This is the highlight I've been using in all of my Instagram pictures. I guess I'm cursing, but it's really epic beautiful. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna do my brows. I am gonna do something with my eyes, I'm not sure yet. I just got my lashes done yesterday. Shout out to Irina at European Lash Studio in Cliffside Park. I'll link her info below. She's amazing. These lashes will last me three weeks and they will look amazing until I get a fill again. Like even when I need a fill, it still looks like I have strip lashes on. For my brows, I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and I'm just lining the bottoms just to like make them even and then I'm gonna fill in 
with a new favorite of mine and I've never been a fan of pencil but I feel like it looks a lot more natural than the pomade. I feel like it's really easy to go overboard with the pomade. But I am using the Goof Proof Bout. It's fine. We're doing amazing. You're goof proof until you actually say the name and then you look like a goof. The Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade 4.5. And I'm gonna use that to fill. But first, I'm just going to fill in these sparse areas. This setup in here is like extremely weird. And I wish I had a vanity, but I broke my vanity driving back from LA. Something happened with the button. So I need a new vanity. So if you know a company that makes good vanities, let me know. I'm gonna use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter just to set them in place. And then for my eyeballs, I'm just going to apply some concealer some setting powder, so I'm going back in with my power play concealer. I'm really not good at talk throughs, am I? Oh, hopefully you guys kind of get the gist of this because I'm like, it looks so much easier. I'm using the concealer to cancel out any discoloration on my lids. And I'm not going in with liner. I only use liner when my lashes start to fall out. But my lashes are really thick right now because I just got them done yesterday. So I'm just going to contour my eyes a little bit. Actually, I like I'm gonna use the ColourPop palette. I don't know what palette this is called, but I'll link it down below. It's the only palette I brought with me to season two of X on the Beach. Like I said, I keep my kit extremely small and I only bring things that I absolutely love and that go with everything. Otherwise, it gets to be too much. And then things go missing and then you have to threaten people. So I'm just taking this um, light brown shade on the bottom and I'm just throwing it into my crease. Now last is lips because my camera is about to hit menopause again. So last is my lips. I do the same thing with my lips every single day. I use NYX Brown Lip Liner and Yash Lipstick by MAC. Top with Dose of Colors on Repeat Gloss. I've been loving gloss lately. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to slick my hair back because I have no time to do it. And we're done. So that's it, you guys. Super easy. Even though I made it more complicated than it actually is. Um, I'm about to stick my hair back and be out because I have no time. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!